All right, welcome back to Real Rap Mini. This is Halo, the series, episode three. We the have last hit the one. three. Damn, all right. Fuck, fuck the intro. We have hit the three episode rule. And according to Tux, he's he's seen enough. <laughs> we 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 are done here. <laughs> so for our last episode, this is we're we're just gonna give it to you straight. Um it doesn't feel I, like Halo. It feels like um I can't even say the Broadway Halo Halo play because those are like e- accurate. <laughs> like even those are like canon accurate to like all of the stories. It just features uh whatchamacallit? Uh interpretive song and dance. Like I I guess it I guess you can say it's um it's if your middle school put on a Halo play with very loose like, and, and you just did it off dome. Like you, you, you knew the big events, but you didn't know how to fill in the fillers. You, because you know, obviously, when you're when you're writing a play, you can't go bam, 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 bam with the fucking uh, with the events. You kind of have to like put a filler in there. So I guess that's where we're at with that. Yep. Uh, big thing that happened this episode is that we get our first glimpse of the hunter. Um, the covenant ranks are really weird because we have seen nothing but elites and now a hunter. But Miranda keeps mentioning grunts, which like is I, funny. I, I just I, I just don't understand it. I feel like you can throw like. I'm going to keep saying like the games, but obviously like the games, you can throw a whole squad of uh, Covenant, you know, like an elite, a couple grunts, and like a jackal. And like, that's a pretty efficient squad. It's just that when the elite dies, then everything goes to shit because the grunts are going to start flailing their arms and running around. And then I can just focus on the jackal and then I win, right? And the the one thing that the elites showed up for this episode was to retrieve the fucking white girl from the trash planet, you know, 100 million years ago, however long ago that was. Yeah, we we get her backstory. Um, If I had to guess, it's in that same spread of whenever Halsey took Chief. So they would be around the same age, give or take a couple of years. Yeah, and it alludes that these two are blessed ones, whatever that means. And that they they can interact with forerunner artifacts because only these two have the mantles of responsibility. And what I say that is go, go fuck yourselves. I'm gonna go keep saying it. Them boys is pussy. Man, with all their fucking cool ass technology, these niggas couldn't find a way to destroy the Great Mind. But nope. we blow up a we blow up a fucking ship and that guy died. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't just a ship. It was a Halo ring, bro. Why didn't they think of that instead of making seven things to fucking commit galactic genocide? Why not just use all those resources you made making artificial worlds and just make a fucking super cannon? No. They weren't thinking that far ahead. No wonder they lost the mantle of responsibility because they're stupid. (laughs) It, it's it's weird because they're they're stupid in like the weirdest way possible. They're stupid from a common sense standpoint because, like you said, they they made the the rings, which takes you know some some semblance of of intelligence. But when it came to actually using the rings, it was just doomed. I guess I don't know. They used them hoes. Everybody got wiped. Reset the planet. You know, reset the universe. You know. Yeah. Oh. Except for the flood, I guess. So the rings weren't even didn't even work. You know, I Axe keep forgetting. I keep forgetting what what um I forgot that guy's name already. Oh, Soren. I'm tired of seeing them. Soren Quan Ha, his white wife. Fucking who else do I not want to see anymore? Miranda, whatever that lady is. That yeah, damn is brown funny. lady. Yeah, I'm, I'm sick of all. I don't care. I don't know what I care about. No, I'm tired. No, I need keys to get killed. I mean, he obviously gets killed. I need him to get killed this season. I'm not going to be there when when it happens, but when when I see it... Actually, I won't see it on Twitter, uh, because according to my timeline, we are the only fucking people watching this show. Yep. We are the only 
forlorn souls watching this fucking show. Rookie, if you're watching, we're sorry. We're not continuing. I'm sorry. Or fuck you. <laughs> After that, bro. Sorry. Yeah, Maybe no, if they is... make the show good next time, we'll watch it. What do you mean next time? They're not getting a second chance. I honestly don't think the show is getting a second season. Uh, they're already renewed for one, apparently. Yeah, but that that they do that w- with uh, what you call it. They do that all the time, where they preemptively, because the, when the when the premiere does well, they usually just fucking announce the Ooh. shit. But I don't think it's actually going to get off the get off the ground. Because they, they do that where, where they fucking, whatchamacallit, where you announce some shit and it's just, yeah, you know, um, it, it's doing okay. Because obviously, like, TV is very weird. Because when you end up making a show, um, it's not by total viewers. It's the, uh, it's the, it's the Nielsen rating thing where it's by demographic or whatever. Right. And I, don't, I don't know how that's measured. Through th- through uh, streaming, but I assume it's um, enough people have watched from enough um, you know from I guess enough quotas like like country uh, gender whatever. So I don't know how they're getting this info through streaming, but um, it's enough clearly for them to for them to have greenlit an- another season. So I guess we can we can start talking about the episode. So, what did you uh, like, bro? What did I like? Nothing. Yeah, what did you like? You didn't, li- you didn't like nothing. Oh, no, I'm lying. There was a fucking thing that I like. Hold on, I can't remember what it is now. You got um, Taylor coming back to reprise her role as Cortana. Oh, uh, I I, I like when when Cortana showed up around everybody, and they were like, "Bro, what the fuck is that?" It, it's like when when your mom says you have to take your brother with you, or or your your young your younger sibling. So you show up at the park and niggas are not happy that your younger sibling is there. Yeah, cause you gotta stop to check on that nigga cause he's being bad. It's just like, bro, I'm just trying to play ball. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, everybody has to act a certain way cause there's there's a child around now. Except this is a fully full blown AI who's fucking obnoxious. Like she, she is crazy levels of obnoxious. Like I, I, I have never seen Cortana this obnoxious, and this eager to help. Or and I, and lack it's like, thereof. It's like she doesn't act like the weapon either. She just acts like some. She acts like regular Cortana, but like super strict and by the books, and I play by the rules. When in, in reality, she's kind of like, yeah, yeah, I run with Chief, but like, I'll do what I think is right. Yeah, she think gives a lot of pushback, Chief. whether it's against Chief and, or Halsey. Because, um, you know, I guess it's because it's her. Like, it's her brain. The scene of them creating Cortana is the most unsettling thing. Because beforehand, you get Halsey talking to her her flash clone and it's it's basically just a confirmation that she's batshit insane with 3000 IQ yeah cuz you 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 her clone brings up Miranda and she's like yeah so what like h- how did your relationship with your with your family get this broken she spends all her time in the lab bro yeah but Keith knew that when he laid it down on her. Nah, I can fix it. Oh, f- clearly. Yeah, look what you did. I can fix her. She's making child super soldiers. And you're talking about you can fix her. And now Miranda's sitting here, a bozo-ass fucking clown. Molding because her mom just doesn't... Or, mom in quotations. Because as far as she's concerned, she, she's, she was just dropped on the planet. Like, she was just dropped into the universe. Only has a father. (laughs) They're doing that thing that they do where they they make the show... It's like, perfect example. Um, A lot of people 
don't really like kaiju films because um it's just about um what you call it actually no, I don't I don't want to say this wrong so I'm mm. going to use a different example it's like mecha shows where people are like oh you know this mech series is great cuz it's finally about the people when in reality all of them are about the people and that and that the uh the what you call it is the backdrop you know yeah. The, the, the robots are the backdrop, and it's always been about the political commentary and the people and whatnot. <clears throat> this Halo show is different. Nobody was signing on f- to a Halo show to, you know, w- learn about the, the plan, you know, the universe's politics and all these other characters and stuff. Because we know about these characters. We know what they did. Right. We know what, what, what they did. We know what they're about. Um, the real reason that anybody is tuning into a Halo show is because of Master Chief. They want to see Chief go head-to-head with... Also, another episode of no action, by the way, in my in my action drama. There was like a, a small scene of some niggas getting called by the fucking Hunter Worms, but that doesn't even count because that show was not raw. Yeah, they, they just, they well, just got raw, snuck after like, being idiots. Yeah, it was like a snuff film, so it wasn't even like, a, it wasn't even like action. There was no back and forth to it. It was just niggas died. They didn't even get a shot off. They just died. Nobody got to shoot. They were holding guns for no reason. Where do I aim? Where do I aim? Ah! <laughs> God, a lot of screaming and getting dragged off shit. screen. We had one episode of like, not even, we had like four scenes of actual ab- action in episode one and ever since then it's just been talk 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 nobody does anything it's 50 minutes of just fucking dialogue oh i like writing dialogue shut up the fuck up write good dialogue then what the fuck all right it's not even good so it's like oh man i wish it was more action it's more just like i can't Fam, that... Ugh. And I, I knew it was over when I started making fun of this shit mid-episode, because usually I sit my ass down and I, I shut the fuck up, and I just watch something. Right? I knew it was over, and I just couldn't I just couldn't stop talking, because this shit was just so funny. <laughs> Chief, Chief is sitting here walking around. He takes the happy pill out of his spine, right? And you would think they'd put the happy pill closer to his spine, but it wasn't. It was just like, you know, just like... It's like I right above end. his ass. Also, yeah, we, we get a very candid shot of this guy's ass. Yeah, we see Master Chief's axe cheeks like three times, which is great. Um, he takes the happy pill out. He starts walking around, and it's that thing where it's like the character doesn't say anything, but, you know, Piccolo fused with Nail, and he was like, oh my gosh, I feel good, I feel great, and all that bullshit. Chief was essentially doing that. But walking around, I'm glad he shut the fuck up for a scene. But I don't think I don't think she. I think Cortana was talking during most of it, so it's not even like a quiet scene with like music or anything. Like you know, fucking a walk in the woods or whatever from Halo. It's just some some bullshit. And it just seems so fucking ham fisted that like he can feel emotions now. He's not the Master Chief, you know. He's John. I don't even know this nigga's last name, bro. Like, what do you mean is he human? Like. He's still just just a soldier to me. Niggas refer to him as the Master Chief and shit like that. Nothing's changed. It's just that the way he acts and the way he talks is is, is somebody's OC. Yeah, they're, they're we. I basically called it in. Well, not called it, but I, I basically uh, figured out that this was going to be the fucking humanization. Of a character where where it's basically just the assassination of the character you know and uh, not really damning this the uh, the show, but tell basically taking everything you know about the franchise and flipping it flipping it on its head to tell it their way. And I understand that these guys wanted to like expand the universe and give a lot more places a lot more like culture and shit like that you don't need chief for that they show plenty of different fucking like for example 
episode two, Soren's introduced, uh, and he has a relationship with Master Chief. Without introduce, without showing Chief's face, if I wasn't to show Chief's face that whole episode, and if I were to rewrite this show, and this is how you know this shit is Ruby's here, if I'm if I'm already doing rewrites, Aren't right? You sure rewrite, <laughs> like my fucking favorite, right? So say we keep you know Quan Ha and Chief going off to do their own thing. We don't write it as Chief going AWOL because I'm a piece of shit. We write it as Chief uh, having the Chief's freedom like, to do whatever the fuck yeah, he wants because he's Chief's, a literal war hero. Yeah, Chief's like, I'm going to take it to uh, somebody that I, I think can give me more context on so, as to what this thing is before I bring it back to Reach. Uh, he does say he doesn't tell Silver Team anything. Chief just tells the he tells Silver Team to tell fucking Halsey and all of them that he's just you know chasing down some elites. You know, Chief. You know, you know when he sets his mind to something, blah blah blah, whatever. Takes Quan High, takes the fucking artifact. He goes to Soren's planet. Uh, maybe most of the episode is the flashback of Soren sneaking out of the UNSC installation. Because I really want to know how that's possible. Like, I'd be very intrigued to see how you can write that well. He well, sneaks they out. So they they don't. It. Yeah. You could say, all right, he, lo- he leaves orbit because he has a head start. But then these niggas chase him down and then a frigate shoots him out of fucking, shoots him out of the sky. He has to make a crash landing, blah, blah. They presume he's dead because everything goes quiet on comms or whatever. And we're not going to waste manpower hunting him down. So we're just going to let him go, whatever. I don't think that's the best explanation, but in order to keep whatever, that's what they do, right? I want to see more about how he gets this shit up and running. And then at the end of the episode, because this guy isn't supposed to matter. Soren is not supposed to matter. At all. His story's done. At the end of the episode, then you bring him to the fucking crazy black guy that fucking... Or if, you know, if I'm rewriting it, I'm not making him black. I'm going to make it a fucking jackal or a grunt or something. Yeah, I was going to make it an alien or something. It's just weird that they, the Covenant would have kidnapped this. I mean, they they explained it by saying that he, they assumed that he could, you know, uh, connect with the, with the artifact. And then he just couldn't. Yeah. Which doesn't not... make sense because the last person they picked up was, you know, a, a smash hit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why they went for him. No, that makes sense. No, you're right. Because they already have a human that has the mantle of responsibility, so she should be able to activate whatever. Why did they go after him with that stupid-ass stick? And it's just not him, or maybe that was before they developed the stick to be able to find her, because he looks way older than her. So maybe, you know... Oh, stick broke. I don't know what to do. And now they have the stick, and then they got her, and then they dumped his ass. But either stick way, broke. I would have made it a jackal, uh, because jackals are funny. Not a grunt, because grunts are too funny. But jackals would have worked. Um, and it would make sense because I feel like if the covenant cannot be human for something, and the human can do something, they just kill him. Right. But like with a jackal. All right, you're banished. Goodbye. Get off the fucking ship, bro. I mean, they they will kill you too, however. Yeah. Or maybe it's just like, I don't know, he escaped or something. Write some some nonsense to... So, like, I don't know. Because they don't... I don't think they've... Well, they might have killed people. They did kill the Arbiter. Well, they tried to kill the Arbiter, but I think that was different because that guy let a Halo ring get blown up. That's the highest mark of shame. You know, that you could just have the, you could just have that fucking jackal defect for any reason, and the covenant is just like, all right, well, I guess you won't be part of that great journey, nigga. I remember being, they caught this nigga. They caught this nigga like and took him. Yeah. So then I don't have to sit and watch an entire episode of Master Chief with his helmet off. He just shows up to place, walks to the back. Hey, can you tell me about this? Oh, well. I'm crazy, blah, blah, blah. That's an artifact, blah, blah, blah. Halo ring, blah, blah, blah. What's a halo ring? I don't know. But I think I've overstayed my welcome. Uh, Quan Ha helped you not get assassinated. Goodbye. I'm going back to thing. Then Soren's like, oh, you're running back to Halsey. Blah, blah, blah. And then Chief is just like, yeah, later, loser. Bye. So it's confirmed it- that, that 
whatever is left of of Soren's Mark V armor is what we we uh, figured out it was, I guess. Uh, what what's left of it is what he's wearing. <laughs> so literally, only the breastplate is what's left of this guy's fucking armor. <laughs> It would have been cool if they showed him getting shot out of the sky, crashing the pelican, and then he kind of has to, like, you know, salvage the armor and do all this, like, survival shit in order to stay alive. Because as and it stands right now, off the planet. He, he took Quan, he's taking Quan Ha to Madrigal with nothing on but his little shitty chest plate and with the clothes he was wearing under. And yeah, that's fancy. I don't know. That That's a really shit design. I feel like he he should have armor. Like obviously, have armor. obviously, it's not going to be advanced as advanced as the Mark Six, and it, it might be even shittier in places. Whereas you would have it be um, welded and shit, you know, like it, it, as opposed to it being fitted together with whatever they use in the UNSC, you would see a rougher like welding job because you know they have to they have to figure out what the fuck. Or how the fuck to fix this this suit of armor or whatever. Whenever things happen to it. But, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know. Yeah. I guess that's too much for the budget. You know, that went all, all into the fucking, uh... The CGI for the yeah. little lo, lo pet shop of horrors, uh... Uh, Hunter Worm. I would have made this whole episode about... You know, this these fucking guys getting snatched by these hunters. Like, the best way to, to like develop the UNSC and all that shit is to actually let us sit with them. I don't think there's a single person that's actually part of the UNSC that we've been with thus far. Chief does not count. He is defected. He has emotions. He's barely even a Spartan anymore. Oh, what about Captain Keys? What, what about Captain Keys? Captain Keys is not a fucking character. That guy doesn't have his a, hand from his ass. That guy's a fucking senator, dog. He's not no fucking... Not real, man. It's, it's, the fucking, it's the council from Star Wars. You know who would have been great to let us, like, actually develop and, like, be alongside the UNSC? Johnson. An Johnson actual been human cool. being. Make yeah, Miranda Bob, not shit. Johnson. I don't know. Yeah, make Miranda not shit. She is a military brat, so have her among the military. Like, hey. It's Miranda's Captain character Keith's sucks, brat. too, because... The 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 Miranda that that everyone knows is whiny, but she does you know put up numbers. This one literally just sits there whining and crying that her mom doesn't love her. Her mom doesn't love her, nor doesn't want her to to do anything, even though she's got six hundred IQ as well. Fucking ass! So this fucking political back and forth is so boring. Hey, yeah. I heard Halsey is off of reach. You can go into her lab and and look at her shit if you want. Yeah, and Keys is actively making the tension between mother and daughter worse for whatever reason. Like he's actually he's actively stoking the fire because he's a fucking idiot. So stupid. I don't remember what else happened. That's no the scene of him walking through where, <laughs> where he's just walking through Reach and he's listening. Bro, the way he was looking at that dog was nuts. That's my dog. He I'm looked so at that sorry. dog. He heard that dog whimper. Walked up to it and look. It's like the most. It's the weirdest face. I can't even describe it. Like it's. It's the face you make when when I I I want to say it's the face you make when when you bring your dog inside and you know the dog's not supposed to be inside and he shits on the floor. <laughs> I think that's the best way. To, to describe that face is that this dog is now shit on the floor in the crib and your mom's going to be home in 30 minutes. And I feel like Cortana is introduced too early because Chief is talking about something. I want to get back on the front lines. Brother, you've done nothing for it. I understand you've been on trial and you've been AWOL, but you haven't been itching to get back to combat. I don't even know what, what the front lines looks like. We haven't even seen the front lines yet. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't. And guess what would have been a perfect opportunity to show us the front lines if we followed that UNSC frigate? What was that shit they called it? The fucking Galvatron or whatever? Galvarius? I forgot what it is. Galminium? 
Either way, uh, whatever that fucking thing is called. Follow that fucking frigate, whatever they just got done doing. And then after the, you you know, you spend basically the entire episode, and then you kill them off with the hunters. Yeah, no, you, you, you spend the entire episode playing, uh, playing Doom with the fucking ship. Where they they've let this they they've let this lady on the ship, and now one by one, you know, in droves, people are just disappearing off this fucking boat. Yeah, that would have been sick. I would have been down for that. No matter how shit it was, I would have been completely down with this yeah. guy watching his crew get fucking, you know, stuffed in the engine bay for the entire episode before finally figuring out it's the girl. Or better yet, figuring out it's the girl halfway through the episode, and they're playing cat and mouse, and he's just running throughout the ship. They're trying to get her before the fucking hunter worms can get them. That would have been sick. And maybe not even like a, we're gonna stop you, and more like a mutually assured destruction thing. Alright, you kill me, I'm going to fucking shoot you. And do some cool shit, like fucking hit the, whatchamacallit, hit the self-destruct button on the, on the, on the damn... On the damn ship and start playing cat, cat and mouse. Yeah. And then that's why she can't get the information. Not because there's some sort of fucking, oh, I hit the password five times and oh, I deleted no, everything. Oh, no, that's funny. So she kills everybody on this damn ship. And then, you know, the guy the the guy in charge of the of the, of the ship, I forgot his name already because it doesn't matter. That guy tells her, you will find nothing on this ship. And then she, she, you know, apparently she's got a Bunsen burner in her fucking finger. Because whatever, I don't know what, what's going on with this damn finger blade thing she's got going on. But she does that. She kills that guy instantly, like lobotomizes him or whatever. And then she starts working on the shit. It says uh, access denied or whatever. It cuts away. When it cuts back, she has done the shoddiest, like, dismantle and trying to to hotwire the ship I've ever seen. She gets it working by using, uh, I don't know, silicone pads or some shit hooked up to to electrical wires and placing it on top of it. You know, the the basic DIY bullshit that they put in every show that, that needs a scene like that. And then it turns out that all the computers are just wiped anyway once you reboot the ship. Because there's like a protocol or whatever. I don't know. It would have been a lot know. cooler yeah. if she just had to retreat back to her fucking Covenant Corvette. Because he's gonna get smart her and hit the fucking self destruct. In fact, this, this show is, is an avenue for cooler ideas. Which reminds me a lot of another show I'm not gonna name because I've named it like fucking four times already, but. There's cool shit in here. It's just if you had a new staff, new everything doing it, it'd be a lot cooler. It, the show just needs a different direction because the direction it's going in, like I said, you're you're taking the one thing about Halo that's easily recognizable and making it unrecognizable. Like obviously, for somebody for no that's, that's not a Halo fan, they're not gonna know that that uh Master Chief, you know what Master Chief is. They just know him as, as the the green guy on the Halo cover. But All even right. through watching three episodes of this show, they can already tell it's just like something's off. Cause you have more scenes of him not in suit than you have ever seen in any Halo promo art. Like this is the first time that there has been there has been an actual depiction of this guy's fucking face. And in episode three, we get this guy's whole bare ass. Like, I know more about the ma- about this universe's Master Chief than I ever would want to know. I've seen everything from the fucking scars on his face to the dimples on his asses on his ass. Bro, I'm good. Yes. With the way that the like actual like story of Halo goes throughout the games and everything, you never need to know anything about him either. It never like. It's convoluted why it's such and such doesn't happen. Why you don't see his face here. Why you don't see his face here. It just doesn't happen. Yeah, because it's not important. Because I'm always in danger. I always need my helmet to be on in case some shit happens. I, I, I don't, don't know. fucking know, man. 
I feel like the limitation of wanting the story to be grounded in human while also not wanting to show Chief's face would have made it for some really interesting television. Because you have to humanize everyone else but the, the main fucking character. It also doesn't even feel like we're at war. Kind of like One Piece. Yeah, it doesn't feel like we're at war either. Like, they, they keep saying that we're in war times, we're in war times, we need to make Spartans or whatever. Nothing's happening. I don't see... Like, they show me old boy on, on Madrigal doing, you know, his, his militaristic deal. But other than that, like, I, there's nothing telling me that there's a war going on other than them cutting to the Covenant every 30 minutes in an hour-long show. Yeah, but they don't even show, like, fucking... You know, like, uh, like the set piece from Reach where... There's a bunch of fucking, like, jets taking off, going into space and shit like that. Oh, we're, we're going to a super carrier, we're gonna fucking try to blow this shit up, and then there's a bunch of banshees and fucking phantoms and shit like that flying around the sky, shooting each other. I like the opening of Halo 2 where Cairo Station gets boarded, and then when Master Chief throws a bomb out, you can see all the fucking pelican and shit driving by, blowing holes in super carriers and shit like that. We don't see any- anything! It's just, we're at war. Yeah, we're losing the Human Covenant War. You know, we're so glad that we made the Spartans because of the Human Covenant War. I haven't seen any war. We I saw one We saw one fight at the beginning of... They're not the, in the middle of episode one. And that was it. And on the topic of Spartans, uh, they don't exist. Like, their silver team, Soren, and then, uh, I forgot what her name was. He mentioned her this episode. I for, forgot, but it doesn't matter. But the point is, the Spartans don't exist, even though Halsey's making this a big deal. Like, you, you can see the, uh, the, the, the armor in her lab, but, but besides that and, and John and Silver Team as a whole, and I, I guess Soren at points not, because he's technically a, a recurring character slash main character, there's no Spartans you. anywhere. Yeah. Like, even in the scene of him uh, stomping in his dark, Doc Martens through the, through the entire uh, colony, we don't see any Spartans. We just see Marines. Am I supposed to believe that they're just, like, you know, off-world? Like, is that, yeah. is that what's going on here? I have to believe that they're off-world or a lot of them died. Fantastic. I don't know, man. Anyway. There's literally nothing else to talk about. We've beaten this to death. The only thing that I can say is we we're this shit is cooked. It's in the books. This is the this is the last episode. Unless something fucking heinous manages to hit the internet about episode four. <laughs> or or any episode, you know, uh going on from this point, we'll be back and it'll be, look it'll look nuts. Because it's going to go from episode 3 to probably, like, episode 7 or whatever the end of the season is, 12 or whatever. Because that's generally when the egregious shit happens, is, is the finale of the season. Unless it's something, like I said, unless something heinous later down the line. But, yeah, we're, we're done here. Uh, we want to thank you guys for watching, obviously. Uh, you know, give us feedback in the, in the comments. Subscribe, obviously. Oh, yeah. And we'll see you in whatever the next video is. I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm still working on that ECW video. Um, I do need to record a bunch of stuff, re-record a bunch of stuff. But um, I'm not going to give you a timetable because that's, that's fucked up. So y'all have a good night, good day, night, afternoon, and Godspeed.